Hey guys, welcome back to Bill's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And this is gonna be, I hope, not too long of a video because uh, I just wanted to talk to you about this uh, interesting car. I'm still overseas in Japan um, and I have about like another month or two until I go back to the United States, which I'm super excited about. But anyways, while I'm here, uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually saving classic Mercedes and classic BMWs. Uh, so what I do is I just scroll through all the um, you know car for sale posts and ads online and then if i see a car that's for really cheap for sale or if i see a car that's you know it's not been running for a while or it just doesn't run then i just I, literally what i do is i just message those people uh, like they're totally they're absolute strangers to me i don't know them i don't know nothing about those people but uh this is what i've done uh you know i've probably in the past two weeks or so uh, i've been just like you know saving a bunch of these cars just by randomly texting people and helping them save these cars and get them running and just guide them how to get those cars running and stuff like that so uh i've gotten a bunch of cars running uh recently which, which is awesome and one of those cars is a, this 1990 mercedes um 300 ce uh 24 so it's a W, it's a C124 chassis. It's a really interesting car. I really, really like this car. It's got a, uh, an early cage electronic M104 engine. And when I found this car out, uh, you know, the owner is actually really awesome. Like, I don't know the owner because he's he was a, still a stranger to me, but we've been talking, you know, and texting each other for a while now. Uh, his name is Kevin, uh, he's really cool. He also loves classic cars. So I guided him through uh, to get this Mercedes C124 uh, running because uh, that car was just sitting for a while and nobody, it was you know, a little neglected, nobody took care of it, but uh, I went ahead and I motivated the seller to um, get it running. So he did get it running and I have a bunch of clips for you guys. So don't judge please because some of those clips uh, you know, they may not be the best quality, but you know, the main thing is you just want to see how everything looks and what was happening to that car. But anyways, so we got that car running and all that. So that's awesome. You know, the seller, the, uh, his name is Kevin. He, uh, he did a really, really good job by saving that car. Um, so you guys can have it so you can see what the seller did or what Kevin did. Uh, I'm super super proud of him and I hope a lot of you guys do the same thing and uh, you help each other out to save these amazing cars. There we go Vito, keep running. He's running like a dream now. Electric tick is gone. So here we are working on the 300 CE. Got the rear tank pulled out. Doing a little clean up in there. I ended up having to take it to work and use the heated power washer. Gets up to about 200 degrees. While I was at it, I went ahead and pulled the rear seats. Uh, Re-lubricated re the little slider in there. A little bit of silicone spray. Just giving it a little spray down. Some window cleaner to get everything cleaned up. Sadly, this little bit of cloth kind of went bad. The leather looks good though, it needs a little cleaning. But yeah, it's a little update on the car. Other than that, engine bay is all buttoned up. Got some fresh new rubber mounted on. Ones still have to go on on the fronts. But yeah, she's coming together. Gotta go ahead and put the interior back in and 
once I get it on the road, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a good wash. Another good once over. But yeah, here you go, Vito. So here's the tank out of the W124-300CE. I went ahead and took it into work. We've got a heated steam cleaner. I don't know if you can see in there, but... Much nicer now. It was full of old gas and junk. And she's looking good now. So I'll be throwing that in here pretty soon. I'm also cleaning out my tank screen. I've got that soaking in lacquer thinner. That should clean up just fine. I'm just gonna let it soak and then I'll scrub it out a little bit. And that'll go in. I'm ready to get this old girl back on the road. All right, here's a little clip of the car it's pretty clean there's some clear coat failure there and on the roof and the hood and the trunk but the rockers are super solid not a scrap of rust on this thing These little headlight bezels, but that's no big deal. All in all, pretty clean car. Four badge is missing. I do have an extra set of taillights and headlight housings. You can look in through the back window. There's the headrest, they do work. See the central locking. All of that works. just pop the trunk real quick I haven't had a chance to vacuum it out quite yet but there's the extra tail lights you got a right and a left headlight assembly this left one even has the, the bezel but that'll clean up nicely that's just a little bit of dirt but yeah it's clean I had all of the panels out of here to take the fuel tank out when I did clean it. Take a look at the interior. Seats definitely need to be cleaned, but everything else is in good shape. 125,000 miles. Quick little engine bay. Just a little dirty. Got a new battery. But yeah, she runs good now with the new fuel pumps. Quick little video of it running. Good oil pressure. Good throttle response. Just put 10 gallons of non-ethanol premium in it.
pretty cool with a sunroof. Works good. Yeah, even the clock works. Of course, you've got your usual, you know, faded wood trim, but pretty solid car. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Anyway, so those were all the clips that you guys have seen, and let's just recap really quick. So what was done to this car is uh, Kevin um, replaced uh, two fuel pumps. So he installed two brand new Bosch fuel pumps on this car. He replaced the mass module on it as well because the mass module got fried because the old two old fuel pumps were drawing too much current so they fried the mass module. The mass module is the one that controls the fuel pumps. Uh, it's located near the battery under the hood. So that module was replaced and he also replaced the fuel filter. He installed brand new tires. Uh, he installed brand new battery. Uh, he, uh, you know, cleaned the car up and everything, and then he also took out the fuel tank. He cleaned the fuel tank from the inside, which is really, really important on a lot of these classic Mercedes. Um, the fuel tanks just get gunked up, and just on any classic car in general, uh, they can get gunked up and just really nasty on the inside. So he did that. He did the, uh, the he pressure washed that thing, and it, it was it was really really nice looking from the inside. If you guys saw the video, and also he uh, took out the fuel tank strainer, and then he cleaned it as well. Um, and then he put fresh gas into that car after that. He also did a uh, oil and filter change on that car and um i don't know what else i'm missing but uh there's a few also he he mentioned that there's a few uh parts in the trunk that uh, the car will come with so please guys we're looking for a good home for this car if you guys need uh, know someone uh in idaho or close to idaho that who would be like interested and is an enthusiast like all of us are uh, please let me know or like text Kevin message Kevin and talk to him you know if you have any more questions you can literally contact Kevin I will leave um, you know the his ad information um, down in the description because he is currently selling this car uh, and we need to find a good home for that car okay and I really really appreciate Kevin for you know uh, helping me save that car um, and yeah I'm proud of you Kevin thank you Kevin for doing all that uh, that car is awesome and uh, they don't make them like they used to so make sure you guys save classic German cars and just any cars out there that are classic they're amazing they will never make them the same way so yeah please guys if you know anybody or if you are interested in that car it's a really really sweet car it's a coupe um, and it just needs a really good home and um, we would be happy to help you guys out with uh, if you need like a transportation or something we will we will take care of you so let us know what you think about that car and if you're interested thank you and thank you for watching Vito's Garage I'll see you in the next one guys